Welcome back to Axiom Burge. I had a... <laughs> Axiom Burge? <laughs> that was a Burge. That was a Burge right there. That was a Burge. <laughs> purge of the uh, anal region. Thank you. Thank you very what, much. What would I describe as the uh, sequel to the Burge? <laughs> Actually, no, to be fair, apparently... Don't you mean the Purge's natural conclusion? Well, no, apparently I've heard that the Purge sequels are actually really good. Or yeah. well, at least massively We're... better than the first one. Which I thought was okay. Yeah. It wasn't great. Still it. But, I, like... While I was pouring my drink, I had a random thought while I was downstairs. Like, one of those thoughts that has no justification as to it being tangential to anything. Okay. Just a random thought I had. Okay. Um, and it was to do with um, game shows. Game shows. Specifically, the Generation game. Generation? Uh, used to be hosted by Jim Davidson. Uh, then everyone was like, oh yeah, that guy's a massive racist. And then the show ended, pretty much. It used to be hosted by Dave, uh, Bruce Forsyth, but you know, they, they, they thought to themselves, he's too old, and he was like, I'll prove him wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the thought I had was like, uh, I'm pretty sure it was one of those shows where it was like, they show you like what you could win or whatever, and um, did, I think they do like, you know, let's see what you could have won, and all that. Like, any show where they do like, let's see what you could have won. I really wanted someone, one of these days, to just be like, like let's see what you could have won. It's like, uh, can we not? <laughs> can we not? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty sore at this. <laughs> A new car! Oh, fuck you! You want to do something? I'll do it. It calls itself Zador. I don't know how I know this, but I do. Strange that such a thing would have a language. Strange still that it would have a personal identity. We watched Doctor Strange. <laughs> I am not sure how long I can last. I lose more and more each passing day. Sound is a deafening throb. Sight is a kaleidoscopic fire. So basically, uh, 2,000 more space, honestly. So mouth and taste open up entire worlds of terror. You're, you're inviting a lot of wrath from people on that, probably. The worst is touch, a tingling, writhing, itching mass. Oh, it's just expanding, uh, sorry. supplanting. I read that it was mess and I thought, oh, well maybe it was, we were talking about 2,000 more space, obviously. I hate that movie. <laughs> I can tell. Anything to save it when it's done. I hate 2,000 more space, obviously, because I found it so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it so fucking boring. Yes, like a marvel of the fact that it was, it was direction wise, it was genius. It was it was really good. There were a lot of clever parts for it being such an old movie. In practice, it was a boring ass movie. <laughs> <laughs> you probably there's probably a lot of wrath out there now. Brutal! <laughs> I was thinking a lot about game shows. I was remembering when Bullseye and uh, who who hosted Bullseye? Uh, Jim Bowie. Yeah, I remember that time where Jim Bowie kind of took a dart for it. Some games. <laughs> 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 I've had enough of you, mate. I'll send you home. Right in the Bullseye. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> All right, bully. <laughs> oh God, bully! There's a fucking blast from them. <laughs> you need to get into that corner. Really? Ooh, good block. That's not what you wanted. No, it's, coming, it's coming back, it's coming back. Yeah, but it's not. It's coming back. Let it let it go on its journey. Alright. It might well, it's obviously you can get down there for some reason. Go follow it. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, that one so I can go through that. No, you don't you're trying you're trying to get into this corner here. Alright. This kind of the, the one that's blank on your map, underneath you. Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, this corner, right? Here. What if I just keep doing all of them? That makes sense, right? What do you mean? There's more than one in there. Just head down here. Wait, just wait this one's pass. So I can go in there and glitch everything. Right, fuck okay, it, just move on. You clearly, you clearly do enough in your power not to be near this corner, so let's just move on. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> so, is there anything else, in, anything else in the actual area itself? Is there like that? Prove myself right. There we go. Let's go. Let's. Alright. Con oh, congratulations on failing Bullseye. How is that a congratulations? Let's see what you could have won. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck off, mate! Bum, bum, bum. <gasps> oh god, <laughs> someone's released Bully! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Bully! Bully just stormed the stage. <laughs> 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 there is no stopping him! He's the Avenger of Death! 
The only way to calm him down is with these tranquilizer darts that I'm putting into my gun right now. Right, that's one, that's two. It takes a couple to say, I'm oh, bully, you know what I mean? I'll tell you a few, <laughs> three, four. He's gone! Ah! ah! Say a pigeon for the. Ah! <laughs> the audience. <gasps> Six, seven, eight. How many fucking guys? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Throw darts at it! Somebody do something! <laughs> you can't rush the master. <laughs> <laughs> oh? That's the long corridor. I'm sorry I've got to do this to you, bully. <laughs> let's... Let's find out what you have won. <laughs> <laughs> Is it over? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. That's what happens when you find an anthropomorphic bull cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> like there, there weren't many, but fucking mascots for um, like TV, TV shows, shows in this country. Yes. Like, well, you've got like the two famous examples of that, and oh shit. Um, I'd say, what's what's the name of the one from Catchphrase? Mr. Chip? Mr. Chips. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand Mr. Chip. He was kind of there, I guess. A, let's see what Mr. Chips thinks about this. <laughs> <laughs> he just like, stares at you and flips you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, Roy Castle my probably my favourite game show. Can't do just Do because you mean the whole. Roy, that's right! Roy Walker. Roy Walker. He's Roy Castle now. <laughs> In my heart, he's Roy Castle. <laughs> he's built like a castle. <laughs> That's right! He just rips off his shirt and he's just <laughs> abbed up. <laughs> he's abbed up. <laughs> they call me the castle! <laughs> <laughs> The, my my favourite part is in catchphrase when it's just really plainly obvious. You know when you switch it on, and you, you might be near the end of the game, but you switch yeah. it on and one person's got about 6,000 points and your person's got about 7. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that in these kind of things in general. <laughs> just, there's always one when it's like horrifically unbalanced. <laughs> it's just the, the part where... Um, like that shit, uh, that fucking, is it Jeopardy uh, shit tyro on getting together? <laughs> there's, 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 there's one where it's uh, a case of... Um, where there's a penny and a pound and they're going into you could go into a house or something. Yeah. And and the phrase, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh yeah. And then and then the dude, who, you know, fucking probably called Trayvon or something, mm. just goes he just he goes, uh, uh, uh Money in the pound! Oh gosh, shit! <laughs> 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 then, and then uh, and then and then the, the woman who probably called, you know, Clarissa. She goes, uh, I believe the answer is in for a penny, in for a pound. That's right! Fuck off, Morris! We'll have to bleed that! <laughs> That's Santa! This is x And then he goes, I won't take that kind of attitude in my studio! Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do about a Roy Walker or something? Say, Roy, not gonna walk anymore once I'm done with you, fuck! And I goes, check out my abs! Oh shit! You, <laughs> the the you. castle's released! <laughs> I was thinking more of an X-rated version of the show where it's just like, uh, is that uh, up shit creek without a paddle? <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong! <laughs> Co Guys, coincidentally, that's not where you are right now! I absolutely love a version of catchphrase where it's just phrases. <laughs> it's like, is that Mr. Chip? It looks as if he's holding a series of fucks and he's not he doesn't seem willing to be having him over. I don't give a fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> all <laughs> There's just ones where it's like a come on now, say what you see. <laughs> it's just like um is, uh, is it um is a it porno? <laughs> is it a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? <laughs> it's it's just like and his response because it's wrong is you don't fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that's the right answer! They've got a lot of health. Either that, they're immune to the gun. Probably immune. Wow. You learn something new every second, I guess. Then maybe you were just shooting at it in the wrong place. Apparently, you can't know. shoot it from the top of that gun. Uh, there's nothing else in here. Aside from that area, I can't get yeah, it. Yeah, you might. What about there? Have you been in there? Oh shit, there was another one. Let's roll! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I completely missed that. 
Oh, accidentally going the wrong way. Don't mind me. I uh, believe the answer for this one is uh, Clarissa. I believe the answer for this one is <laughs> get fucked, you gobby shite. <laughs> that's right. You're just like that's close, but not the right answer. <laughs> Trayvon. Huh. I've got this one in the back. Oh god. In any point, it says something stupid, such as, uh, to be or not to be. <laughs> I mean, it's just, oh my god, what an idiot! Everybody laugh at him, oh! <laughs> How dumb are you? Where is it? Alright, okay, so up top. I'm gonna take those points away for being so fucking stupid! <laughs> and then you just start thinking, wow, uh, <laughs> what a knobhead. <not> <laughs> He's really taking a turn on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll! <laughs> Get right in people's ears from there. Um, <laughs> Mr. Chip's got a very bigger Mr. Chip. <laughs> yes, he does! That's a french fry! It's pretty much a potato! <laughs> ah, is the answer Big Johnson? You're fucking stupid, you know that? <laughs> It looks as if Mr. Chip's dick is on that woman's shoulder. A chip on my shoulder! You guys wrong! <laughs> <laughs> what? The one time it's a common reason, I don't get it! <laughs> well, it's not my fault that you said dicks for dozens. Not my fault you didn't say what you saw! Ooh. There we go. <laughs> I, could, I could say what I saw. I could see what I saw. I saw a washed up has been hosting a fucking game show. <laughs> Oh damn! It's fucking on! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see my Mr. Chip? <laughs> no! He pulls out an axe. <laughs> slams it into his uh, counter. No, I actually gotta say this about a catchphrase. Yeah. The, 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 I love the counters. The, the actual, you know, the... the oh yeah. Teams. They were great. Oh yeah. Did you ever have a two of TV addicts or telly addicts? Yeah, was that Noel Edmonds? Noel Edmonds, yeah. Oh god, Noel Edmonds. <laughs> Did you ever play the Legend. board game uh, in the DVD box? No. <laughs> so we had it as a, a... We actually still do have it. I can probably oh, drag, yeah. drag it out. That's awesome. But yeah, you put it on and Noel Edmonds shows up on the TV. And he asks us, he, he's like, goes, Alright, looks as if you've got a video question. Why don't you check on the TV on the TV? like, Noel Edmonds is there in your living room. <laughs> asking you these questions. <laughs> Right here. It's right. like being stood in the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's the Edmunds Chapel. <laughs> it, it's the Edmunds Chapel and you're thankful. <laughs> First name Noel. <laughs> Saint Noel. Oh, he, he wishes. This is just an alternate route to... Yep. Alright, oh, cool. Huh, Good cool. to know. Yeah. Uh, right, where can I go from here? Everywhere! I can go everywhere from here. Right, so it's up to you if you watch Sally Wentz Temple or continue exploring. There's quite a lot that needs to do in there. Oh, yeah. Well, There's probably loads you can do in there. Well, let's go there. That's the one which will eventually lead you to the temple. Yeah. So we can but there's still a bunch of shit that we need to do. There, yeah, right? we can just do it. We'll explore! <laughs> <laughs> let's head out now. Let's see what we see. There's some rocks. There's a man's head. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's the woman's head? Fuck. It's just catchphrase, you know. All I, these... love, I love the idea of him playing his own show being awful at it. <laughs> just like, say what you say. Uh, Mr. Chips! Uh, Mr. Chips with a with a stick! He's 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 hitting a he's hitting a donkey! It, it's a, is it a donkey? <laughs> Flogging a dead horse! That's right! <laughs> like the new host or, or whoever that is. Oh, who was was it Vernon was it Van Vernon? No, it wasn't Vernon K. Because I know that there was a time where he monopolized all game shows well, he, to, he's, to rule them all or something. He did Family Fortunes and I think he might still do Family Fortunes. Oh god, Family Fortunes. Oh god, remember when you were just watching Family Fortunes and they are the thinking, this family, I don't want this family. This, this family, I don't want their fortune. <laughs> and it shits and says, what common item would you find in the bathroom? And then one hits the button and goes, a car! <laughs> <laughs> a stove! <laughs> Some uh, kind of mittens! That doesn't sound right, but let's check the board. Uh -uh. One, one person said stove. <laughs> I love Les, like, Les, it was Les Dennis, wasn't it, originally? Les, yeah. Les, the, Les Dennis the Menace. Les Dennis. 
Yeah, he's a uh, family fortune. He's great. Oh, it was actually really great. Yeah, I feel like Les Dennis, like in terms of his wife, punched above his weight. That's a weird thing to say. I know, but it's the truth. Man pushed above his weight. Oh, we still don't have a laser from the thing, do we? So that's still inexplorable. How long has it been since I locked that area, and I still can't get to the end of it? What area? Oh, shit. oh wait, no, go back. No, you know what I mean? Because I, I have to have the laser on the end of the um, companion. <gasps> oh my god, it's got a laser! When did it get a laser? It's always have a laser. But why? Why have I never? No, your problem is like you need to break the top one, that's why you oh. can't do it. Because you'll just get to a dead end there. Oh, but back. can't. Oh, I can't. No, because you need you do you need the uh, lock code to break that margin to smash for me by teleporting through it. Ah, I see. So yeah, you still can't get through that. <laughs> hey, welcome to Family Fortunes and uh, what's your family? Actually, we're not related. What? How did you get on the show? <laughs> We lied. We lied. <laughs> we told your producer that we were related and he just led us on. Maybe what? you should... Well, what, let's see what you call. You called yourself the Toblerone section. Can you see? Alright, who's getting fired? For this mistake. You can't fire me, I'm the producer. I run this show. I run the whole business. That's where you're wrong. It's so Vernon Carey. Vernon Keynes. Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. He was on... Family fortunes. I just thought it was a period where he just started showing up. Yeah, it was like. And then, yeah. And then he, he, he was involved in a scandal where he cheated on his hot wife. Oh! I do vaguely recall him being in a scandal, and then you're just there thinking. Test daily. <laughs> Come on, mate. Test daily. Test daily. Test daily. Test daily. Yeah, cheated on him. Or something. Let me just double check this is the same. It's like, you know, like, I won't talk about Kevin, but I will talk <laughs> at length about Vernon Kate. It's similar to the bullshit when, like. Uh, yeah, why would you cheat on Tess Daily? Yeah, who, who else was it? Maybe she was like, why would you? Maybe she was just a bitch. <laughs> Tess Daily cast a him bitch. Uh, they're apparently still together. Huh. Is this like the uh, Wayne Rooney and Colleen situation where it's just like... No, there's a big difference, right? Wayne Rooney was all over those grandmas. And to be fair, those grandmas got it going on. <laughs> Stacy's grandma! She's got it going on! She's all I want! So she's a, 80 years Jeremy old! Kyle, Jeremy Kyle ran in a relationship show about relationships. Yeah. And how he's, you know, the bee's knees in terms of relationship advice. But mm -hmm. fairly convinced that he cheated on his wife about 16 times. Seems about right. I mean, the man is a massive scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't call um, erasing people something you should do, but I'm just saying that you shouldn't be around. <laughs> so what you're saying is erase him. <laughs> oh, so there is a way of doing this? Go back to the wall. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether you... Is that cheap? It's kind of weird. It's okay. kind of weird how to do this. All right, uh, there we go. It might not even work. It might be something that I would point up, fire the drone, yeah. jump, or jump, point up, fire the drone, wait, teleport where the drone is, fire, keep going up, and up, and up, and up, and up, this is actually Alright, okay. It might take a few tries to get used to it. So you just have to have a hammer Y, basically. Yeah, but you need to fire it all the way to the top, and then... It yeah. won't let me do it when I land, until I land afterwards. Fair enough. Maybe they patched it out. If it, if it was a thing that happened, maybe they patched it out of the game. Okay, fine. That is possible. Fine. I'm possible, though. It is 100% possible if it, they could have done that. Any other presenters who fucked up? Any other presenters who fucked up? Really? Most no. of them, you know. Most presenters fuck up in some capacity. It's just... Not Richard Whiteley. Oh. How do you infer that Richard Whiteley is incapable of fucking up? Richard Whiteley is a, was a great man. <laughs> what, what, that's the question. We don't know what he's done in order to make you think. No, well, make you think what? That he's no longer a great man. That was only dead. Oh, Richard. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> countdown guy. I was mixing him up with Richard Maidley. <laughs> Different Richard. Richard and Judy. Oh my god, that's a topic for another time. Yeah. 
specifically the next episode because it's gonna happen. We need to speak about it. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. That is Richard Mead. <laughs> he said he's not that fat. Come on. I don't know. What you see, we can't unsee. <laughs> right, well, I guess. We well, might as well just stop here. Wait. I can't reach that. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.